Hey guys, it's Robert, and today we're making desserts. Hey guys, so our first dessert is going to be a low carb strawberry banana cake, and it's actually pretty easy to make as long as you have a handy dandy food processor. Simple ingredients bananas, stevia, eggs, coconut oil, wheat flour, whole wheat flour, buckwheat flour, baking powder and strawberries. So what you're going to do first, you're going to take your bananas, just kind of break them up into pieces, put them into your food processor. We have to blitz these first, get them nice and smooth. Going to pulse it a little bit first. Okay, and now I'm just going to turn it on for a little bit. That's just going to work its magic. That looks pretty good, so we're going to stop it. Oh yeah, I wish you guys could smell this banana. Oh, that smells pretty good. So now, with that being all blitzed, we're going to add in our egg, our stevia, and our coconut oil. Just so you know, the exact ingredients are going to be in the description of the video. So now that we have the wet ingredients in, we're going to turn it back on, pulse it, just to get it started mixing up. Then we're going to turn this on for a little bit. This is going to allow everything to mix in well. I'm going to stop it real quick. Take the top off again. Now, there are a few pieces. Going to get those all the way down inside. We need to make sure that we get all of the chunks out. Put the top back on, close it, pulse it some. There's that one little chunk that just doesn't want to get cut. <laughs> Let's see if this gets it. Just going to turn it on and stopping it. Bam. So now we're going to add in the dry ingredients. Here's your whole wheat flour, here's your buckwheat flour. That buckwheat flour is going to give it a pretty good flavor to it. A little bit of texture, a little bit of different taste. We're going to put our top back on. Going to pulse just a little bit. Just to get it started to be incorporated. There we go. Starting to mix in pretty well. Oh, I can already smell this. This is going to be pretty good. Okay, gonna see what it looks like. That's mixed up pretty well. Just gonna go a little bit more, just a little bit longer. So that should be pretty good. We're gonna stop it. Here's our pan. So one of the things I like to do when baking cakes, and I learned this from a friend who bakes cakes a lot, you put a piece of parchment paper into the bottom of the cake. That will help your cake come out of the pan once you're done cooking it. So now we're done with this here. Shake some of the batter off. Awesome. So try to get this extra batter back into the bowl. Now be careful with the food processor, okay? These blades are sharp. There we go. Just take this off. And, I, and there's the parchment paper that's already in there. Just take a spatula, 
and start to scoop it in. Here we go. Almost all in. Place that back on here. So we're just gonna smooth this out to fill up the cake pan. If you can smooth it out and rotate it around in a circle, it'll be a lot easier to get it even. There we go. Almost there. Place that in there. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the strawberries and I'm gonna place the strawberries on top. So you can make patterns if you want to. I'll make just a little bit of a pattern, but then there are gonna be other pieces I'm just gonna randomly put in. There we go. So not only is this gonna give it a little bit of sweetness, gonna add a nice little bit of spring flavor to it. Oh yeah. I'm a big strawberry fan. Love strawberries. I'm gonna kinda layer these on pretty thick too. Using all the strawberries. Oh yeah, give me all the strawberries. <laughs> Trying to fill in any spaces that we may have with the smaller pieces of strawberry. Oh. Bam, and guess what? We are good to go. Done with the strawberries. Nice. So bam, here it is. Now all we're gonna do is put this in the oven, okay? In a preheated 350 degree oven. Again, as I said before, the instructions are in the description. Hey guys, here it is complete, all done. Our low carb strawberry banana cake. It smells so good, I cannot wait to taste this. Oh my goodness. Here's some specifics on it. It's about 104 kilocalories per serving. There's about 16 servings in this cake. It's five grams of fat, 16 grams of carbohydrates, it is a cake, and two grams of protein. Again, another perfect serving.